let's start with a knot and then chain 179 And this is how the piece looks like after 179 chains. Row 1. Single crochet in second chain from hook. So this is second chain here. Single crochet. And then single crochet in each stitch across. Or in each chain across. And this is how row 1 looks like. Row 2, chain 1, single crochet in the same stitch. Chain 3. And then skip 3 stitches one two three go to the fourth and three double crochets on that stitch so three double crochets one two and three and then chain three again one two three skip three stitches again one two three go to the fourth and single crochet on that fourth chain, fourth stitch, like this. And that this is what it looks like. Repeat chain three, skip three stitches, and go to the fourth and three double crochets. One, two, three. Then chain three, one, two, three, skip three stitches, go to the fourth and single crochet. So this will be your pattern. This is what it looks like. And just repeat the pattern. So I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I'm towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row and I'll be doing the last repeat. So chain three, skip three stitches, go to the fourth and three double crochets on that stitch. One, two, and three. And then chain three again. One, two, three. Skip three stitches. And then on the last stitch, just do a single crochet on the last stitch like this. And this is how row 2 looks like. Row 3, chain 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, turn, skip the chain 3 space, Go to the first double crochet and do a double crochet on that stitch. Chain one and then double crochet in the same stitch. Chain one again. And then on the next double crochet on the next stitch, do a double crochet. Chain one and double crochet in the same stitch. Then chain one. And then on the third double crochet or the next stitch, do a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet on the same stitch. So we just made a shell. And this is how it looks like. So repeat the pattern on the next shell. So on the first double crochet, do a double crochet, chain, three, chain one, Double crochet in the same stitch. 
chain one, double crochet on the next stitch, chain one, double crochet on the same stitch, chain one, and then double crochet on the next stitch, the third double crochet, chain one, and double crochet on the same stitch like this. So we just did our second shell. So repeat the pattern across and I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row doing the last repeat of the pattern. So double crochet here on this stitch, chain one, double crochet on the same stitch, chain one, double crochet on the next stitch, chain one, double crochet on the same stitch, chain one, double crochet on the next stitch, chain one and double crochet on the same stitch and then to end the row just do a treble on the last stitch here so treble two yarn overs insert hook yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops and that is treble crochet. We just did a treble crochet. And this is how row three looks like. Row four. Chain one, turn single crochet in the first treble chain three one two three and skip to the two chain one space this one and this one skip and then on the third chain one space here three double crochets one two and three and then chain three, one, two, three, and skip on the on this space between two shells to a single crochet like this. Repeat chain three, skip the two chain one space here, this one and that one, and go to the third chain one space in the middle and do another three double crochets. One, two, and three and then chain three single crochet on that space between two shells like this and repeat the pattern chain three skip chain two chain one spaces go to the middle one three double crochets And then chain three and then single crochet on the space between two shells and this is how it looks like and repeat the pattern I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row so I'm here now towards the end of the row doing the last repeat so chain three single crochet on the chain on the space between two shells chain three again skip two chain one spaces and go to the middle and three double crochets and then chain three 
and then to end the row single crochet on the third chain of the chain four beginning chain four just like this and this is how row four looks like So this is now how my piece looks like after 15 inches of working on the rows, repeating rows um, three and four, and then I ended it with row three of the pattern. This is the close up of my piece. And then we'll continue with the last row. So for the last row, from here you chain four, one, two, three, four, and then we turn like this. And then on the first double crochet, do a two double crochets on that stitch here. On this stitch, two double crochets, one and two. And then two double crochets on the next stitch, one and two. And then two double crochets on the third stitch here. And this is how it looks like. And then skip the th chain three spaces here. And then go to the double crochet again and two double crochets here. Just repeat the pattern of the previous shell. Two double crochets on the next stitch. and two double crochets on the next stitch here. So repeat this pattern across and I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row doing the last repeat. So two double crochets on this stitch here. And then two double crochets on the next stitch. And another two double crochets on the last stitch here. And then to end the row, just do a treble again. So Yarn over twice, one, two, insert hook on the last stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And that's the treble and this is how the piece looks like. And then fasten off. So this is now how the piece looks like after finishing all the rows. We're almost done. So let me show you the close up. This is how the shell should look like. This is the right side of the pattern. Here. And then let me flip, flip it over to the back side or to the wrong side of the pattern. So this is the wrong side now. This is the wrong side facing up. So the next step would be folding. So to fold with the uh, wrong side facing up like this, go to this side and fold it this way so that the right side will be 
showing like facing us like this then we will be um, sewing the top portion of this piece so this is now we are here now at the top portion of the piece and this is the opening right here and then align shells together this is shell one align it at the back with the shell at the back like this this is shell two and align it with the shell on the back like this and on the third shell here align it on the back we will start joining here so insert our hook on both sides like this and join a yarn join the yarn here like this tie it to join and then start uh, crocheting together the two sides so yarn over pull through and chain one and just single crochet in each both of the sides together single crochet on each stitch sewing both sides together like this And we will be sewing past the next shell, which I will be showing you later. So this is the shell, the next shell from where we started and then sew past it. And then we will be sewing, stopping to the next shell. So keep sewing until we reach the next shell so stop here on the next shell right here so this is how the piece looks like with the sides sewn together So from here, we separate the two sides apart like this. And then on the back side, count four shells. One, two, three. And on the fourth shell here, this is the fourth shell, put a marker. And then go back to where our hook is and then start crocheting or single crochet on the front side without attaching both sides just the front side like this and then we will be crocheting across four shells so just single crochet on each stitch like this so this is the first shell here will go past this shell this is the second shell we will go we will crochet past this one too Pass this second shell this is the third shell here we will crochet past this one too continue up to the fourth shell so 
So we're here now on the fourth shell and stop right here. Last single crochet right here. So from here we will start decreasing our stitches. So insert hook, yarn over, pull through, insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through three loops. That's a decrease. So repeat, yarn over, pull through, yarn, I mean insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through three loops, another decrease. So repeat this pattern until we reach the marker on the other side of the piece. So just decrease, insert, pull through, insert next stitch and pull through and then pull through three loops like this. So this side of the piece is the shoulder. So we're here now towards the marker. So we just continue with a decrease until we get to the marker. So here, do a last decrease. Take out the marker and do a last decrease and this is how so far the piece looks like. That's the decrease part. So let's turn our piece towards us like this for easier. So the next step is to go back to single crochet in each stitch like this. So we are now on the other side of the piece. And then mirroring the other side, just single crochet in each stitch until we reach the other side or the end of the round. So we're here now, we're almost done. Just continue with a single crochet. And then when we reach where we started, beginning round, here, just slip stitch on the beginning round like this. And this is how the piece looks like. with the other side um, decreased and then just from here just fasten off and cut our yarn and then weave the ends like this and then weave the ends the other ends of the or other tails of this project too and then we are done and here's the finished product. This is how it looks like. This is the opening here. Here is the opening where your head goes. And then this is where we sew some parts together. And this is the opening on the side. 
and here it is.